Okay, all joints finished. We'll be slowly getting ready for water test. Handheld. One sprayer, second sprayer, third and fourth. Temperature valve, volume valves, three of those, so this is it. Okay, I'm slowly uh, moving forward with the uh, test, water test. What is very nice about uh, this particular uh, system, manufacturer included those very useful, very nice caps to cap our sprayers. Usually we have to uh, do those caps ourselves. In this case, each sprayer has the cap with the gasket. Uh, uh, the way it can be easily removed and uh, for the test. Already have the cartridge for the main valve in place. Here is the cartridge for uh, the volume valve. It goes pretty much like this. Uh, there is no any additional adjustment. Just pretty much tightening this to the maximum. And there's one more piece. We'll go all the way here. All the volume valves will have exactly the same cup. So it's here, still to come, still here to come. Here regarding those, the handheld and the shower head I will have to do with the caps my own, myself. This is it. Yeah. Another important thing you see for this particular system when designing the space and the piping we have to keep in mind that we have a recessed sprayers in the wall you see this is why all those different configurations to avoid uh, getting uh, across the space that we need for the recessed sprayer that will be installed later let's do water test the way I have this figured, I have those heavy duty shadow valves here in the uh, floor. So I'll be opening and closing water here and we'll see how it will go. Peter, cold water. Open cold water. Slowly. Okay. Pipes filled with water with pressure. Okay, now hot water. Starting from this valve, once this is filled with water, all the way to each volume valve, we will be opening certain valves, right, one after another. Yeah, we can hear water getting over there. Actually, already. Okay. Let's 
check this one. This one is already open too. And the main head. Yeah, it's been also open. Yeah, so water slowly fills all the pipes. Yeah. You got it open completely? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I think success here. Lots of joints, lots of soldering. I'm going to let it be under pressure of water uh, in, and well not covered for at least a day, overnight for sure, to make sure that no drippage will be over time. We have uh, lots of soldering, we have joints where we've used Teflon tape, so we have to make sure that uh, it won't cause any uh, leak before covering actually the walls. What else we have here? I'm gonna put those trims. Those are for installation so we know how far actually the tile and the wall should come out. And we have one for the main valve. Okay, cool beans. Yes, so we are ready through with this project. Uh, we did water test. I already uh, flushed the system uh, to get rid of all the remaining of solder or soldering paste. So we had chance to flush the pipes and right now we're working on board so this is the last view at this really nice setup here we have additional wooden block to give additional support to the underlayment but yes yeah, so this is how this system looks like uh, from inside it will be covered shortly once again three lines independent lines sprayers handheld and here to the main shower shower head volume control valves for each of those here loop pressure balancing loop for the jets and for sprayers here with the handheld Quick update, we are ready through with most of the tiling. We working on the cuts for the sprayers and all those uh, valves that we installing. Extremely difficult to really cut two and a quarter inch radius hole. We have some difficulties finding right drill bit, but uh, it's progressing good. So this is how it looks when it comes to finishing the way it's supposed to be done.